What's going on guys, Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again with another Cornhole 101. Today we got my top five cornhole accessories that I use all the time. As you guys continue on through your cornhole journey, these are things that I think could make your life easier or give you some good practice tools or help you out along the way. So without further ado, let's get into it. Coming in at number five, we have the airmail box and the airmail pipe. Now I would put these right in between practice and fun. I'd say the airmail box is like actual practice. Well, this is almost carnival game level fun. But with the airmail box, it gives you a good sense of, you know, consistency with distance control on an airmail. It also makes it a more fun way to practice with your friends, whether you're doing 50-50 games, which is one normal board and one bomb box and playing a game against your friend with normal scoring, or you're just coming out to practice shooting consistent airmails. The nice part about an airmail box is you can't really miss too far short or to the sides and kind of grip and fall in like you would at a normal board. You have to fairly clean airmails and it helps a little bit with distance control. Now with the airmail pipe, as you can see, there's no radius around this. Also with my airmail pipe, mine is completely flat on the top. So it being completely flat on the top makes it 200 times harder than an airmail box for the fact that you cannot miss on the front edge of the hole. There's no tilt to the hole. You have to come in high backside and clean. So this is way more of a carnival game than it is real practice, but you know for sure if you make it in this that you would have made a super clean air melt anywhere else. But I use this all the time with friends late at night uh, doing cash games, first ones to 10 in the air melt box. It's way harder than you think it is and it makes for a really great time with friends. So at number five, we got air melt practice tools, the air melt box and the air melt pipe. Coming in at number four is the Gladiator Cornhole Glove. Now, if you guys follow this channel at all, you know that I love this thing. And honestly, I would rank it higher for my personal self in the top five, but the glove's just not always for everyone. The perks of the glove, just consistency. I have a condition where my hands sweat constantly, and this makes it so whether it's sticky or dry or cold or warm, the bag feels the exact same in my hand. Also another perk is if I'm throwing a carpet bag, a fast bag, a floppy bag, a full bag, all the materials feel very, very similar, and it just gives me a consistent grip on the bag. The palm of the glove uses what they call moisture prevention technology, but it's basically just, you know, a normal glove material, maybe a little bit denser leather feeling almost, preventing your hand sweat from getting on the bags, which as another side point to why I use this, my sweat can actually slow the bags down. So as I'm holding them in my hands and throwing them throughout a day, I will get them damp. And materials like Surefire material, I can actually get so sticky, they'll start stopping on the board. So this helps prevent me long-term getting them wet, uh, you know, and it makes that process last a little bit longer. I still feel like I have full control with this thing. And honestly, I can't throw without it at this point. Gladiator Cornel Glove, I live and die by this thing. If you guys wanna check one out, they're about 20 bucks online. Uh, you can use code Eddie 10 for 10% off Gladiator's website if you wanna check one out. I highly, highly recommend it, even if it's just to try it. Uh, I really love it and can't throw without it. So at number four, we have the Gladiator Cornhole Glove. Coming in at number three is a product that not a lot of people talk about or I don't think I've even heard of is the Pro Board Level. The company's name is Pro Board Level and this is what they make. It's a 3D printed leveling device for your boards. What it's gonna show you is leveling left to right you know, to make sure that your board are flat, but also leveling front to back to make sure that the angle of your board is the angle that it's supposed to be compliant for pro boards. And this is kind of a tool that is quick, really easy to use and comes in handy when I'm setting up my boards anywhere that I go. Another cool feature about it, hangs on the back of your board and shows it's exactly six inches long. So it shows whether or not your hole is the correct distance from the back of the board. While all pro boards should be, just a cool feature in the way that this is constructed to also have that capability built in. But the level, quick, easy, gives me measurements, helps me level my board really, really quickly without having to use a manual level, hangs nicely on the back of the board, stays consistent, super simple product, but works, does exactly what it's supposed to do. Nice, quick, easy, easy to move around, very portable, really, really like this thing. They're about 25 bucks on Pro Board Level's Facebook page. I'll have the link to that in the description below. Definitely pick one of these up. It's great to have in your arsenal to bring wherever you go to make sure that your boards are level. So at number three, we have the Pro Board Level. Coming in at number two, we have pucks. You know, a lot of people talk about pucks and how they're a bit overpriced for what they are. And while I think they're a bit on the pricier side coming in at around between 100 and 120 dollars, this is probably the best investment or one of the best investments that I've made in cornhole 
period. Uh, I would definitely recommend the performance package to kind of go along with the tool we just showed before at the leveler because it comes with the leveling shims, which for me, that is the reason why I purchased this bar none. So what are pucks? These are board leveling and board, basically holding stationary position tools that go on the bottom corners and front corners of your board. On the bottom of these things, they have a silicone sticky to them that holds them to the ground. And then if they ever start to get dirty, get grass on them as mine are starting to, you just take some cold to lukewarm water, rinse it off, pull the debris off, and they'll be just like new sticky all over again. Do not use hot water on them though, as they say it can hurt the stickiness of them, but you just rinse them off, they're almost back to, back to new. In a world where we spend 100 to $150 on one set of bags, dropping 100 to $120 to make it so your boards never move, and are perfectly level. And as I showed before, one of the things that I use this for that not a lot of people I see doing is with that board level, showing the pitch of your board front to back. So my board down on the other end there is perfectly level left to right, but I have an inch and a half of razors in the front edge just to bring that front of the board up because there's so much tilt down there back to front. And if I didn't do that, my boards wouldn't be, or my bags would not be sliding up the board as much because of that increased angle. Just making it so your practice isn't that consistent. This makes it so if I come up here to review or to practice, to have a friend over, I set this up, I never have to move the boards the rest of the day. I know they're perfectly level and my reviews and my understanding of the bag speeds is totally correct. And it just makes for a better game experience from both sides, regardless of surface that you're on. Whether it's grass, turf, concrete, anything, I use these to level my boards every time that I play to always continue on with the practice. So even though it's around 100, 120 bucks, you buy them one time, it's a great investment, something that I'm so glad that I bought and that I honestly never play without at this point. So coming in at number two, we have the pucks. And coming in at number one on my cornhole accessories is a Zuka, a cornhole backpack, or some kind of carrying case for your bags. Whether you're going to a tournament, going to a blind draw, going to your friend's house, you need some way to carry your bags around. You, it could be something as simple as a drawstring bag or as expensive as a Zuka. Now, people have seen Zukas be like, man, why are you spending 250 bucks on a cornhole bag? Yes, it's a bit overpriced, but I didn't think I would like this thing as much as I do. The biggest perk for me, this is a chair. It's a metal frame that can support up to 300 pounds. And when you're at a tournament on a long day, there's not seating. There's not places to go chill out unless you wanna sit on the ground. You can pull this up next to your court. I have an attachment that goes on here that gives me a cup holder onto the handle. Uh, it's easy, I could fit 10 sets in this thing. I could pull around you know, 10 sets of bags just easily with the wheels. Um, gives me a chair to sit on, a cup holder. I mean, all in all, I really, really enjoy my Zuka. And then the collector in me, obviously you have the Velcro front. I put Velcro on the back. Get to collect patches, you know, another way to express some brands and some things about myself. It also has these side pockets. I usually have a battery charging pack, phone chargers, snacks, stuff like that. All in all, I just really like having the carrying case. The Gladiator backpack, I really love as well if I'm just bringing a couple sets around. Just another way to put on your back has compartments that hold the bags for me. No matter what you use, you need some kind of bag to carry your bags around. And usually you want something that's fairly secure, hard to move, and that's another reason I like the Zuka. It's pretty hard to take a Zuka, you usually pull this with you, you're sitting on it, you're using it at all times. All in all, I just really have enjoyed my investment in the Zuka bag, but no matter what kind of bag you use, just the, my number one accessory is some kind of carrying case for you guys to carry your bags around. While there's tons of other accessories in the cornhole world, these are the five that I find myself using the most often and that I think is the best to recommend to you guys. All within a reasonable price point, depending on how you wanna invest in this hobby, increases the fun that you can have with your practice, increases the quality of your practice with making sure your board's level, and increases your quality of life with transporting your bags around. And if you guys are anything like me, I got a lot of bags to transfer around at this point. But no matter what you guys use, I think everyone can find a use for every single one of these. I'll have the link in my description below to all of these, but either way, these things will improve your cornhole experience for the better. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another Cornhole 101. Hope you guys got something out of this and found something that maybe you hadn't heard of before. Hopefully you guys continue to enjoy the content that I'm putting out. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.